good. Yeah, me. Try another one. Painting, which is uh, what you were, had a chance to see, is one of the ways we can enrich our animals. And what the goal of enrichment is, is to give animals chances to use their natural behaviors, to allow them some choice and control over their environment, and to basically keep their minds and their bodies engaged so that they're psychologically and physically healthy. It's also interesting to me that if you'd gone 10 years ago in zoos, pretty much elephants and maybe orangutans were the only animals you heard of painting in a zoo setting. Now it is something that people are doing with invertebrates. They're doing it with birds, they're doing it with all sorts of mammals. Some actually paint like you saw with a brush. Um, some use their fingers. Some animals just allow you to maybe put paint on their feet and press their feet against a canvas, which is still something they have to voluntarily become used to and want to do and they get rewarded for. Some walk through paint and then walk onto something. Some sniff paint and then their nose is what does the painting. Um, there's lots of different ways this can occur. And to see the diversity, um, we probably have, I actually put together a list recently, and I want to say it's probably 20 species or more that are engaged in painting activities at the zoo in one way, shape, or form. I definitely think this is art. When you look at the rest of the Smithsonian and you go down to the mall and see the Hirschhorn and what's at the uh, National Gallery, it's all sorts of different things. And I think this is definitely one more interesting thing that we can contribute as part of the Smithsonian. And it's some animals have different styles and some like more paint or less paint, so it, this is definitely art.